this is Business with Dave. In this video, I'll be helping you create a Mexican street food business, or I'll be working with you and just sharing my ideas, riffing some ideas, see if you like it. If you do, try adapt it to your own business. If you have other ideas, if you have your own twist, do take some of these points and hopefully you could work work with it, improve on it, and just like, we're just sharing ideas here, brainstorming, see what you like, see what you can adapt, and hopefully it could be a successful business as well. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. So one of the food ideas that you could adapt for your Mexican street food business is burritos, tacos, quesadillas, uh, nachos, tamales, some of these stuff that you can hopefully work on, have maybe tacos or burritos as your main offering, create your own salsa, create your own quack, so many different options, have different proteins as well like pork, chicken and definitely a vegan option, so many different choices, so many different ideas that you can see, different recipes as well, I'm going to list some of these potential meat options that you can have. Literally, it could be anything Mexican cuisine. There's so many different things that you could be doing and the opportunity for starting a Mexican sort of street food business is, you, the best thing about it is that you can adapt it in so many different ways. It doesn't have to be solid Mexican. It could be Korean Mexican or it could be, I don't know, British Mexican, just like different ideas that hopefully could be adapted into the different things that you could be doing so in terms of like tacos or burritos, but do consider these ideas because ultimately any idea could be a good idea as long as there is demand and people like it, they'll buy from you. So do see what you can work with. So some of the equipment that you could be using is a bain-marie. So hopefully you have your meats already prepared or cooked on the store and kept at the hot warm. Hopefully you can assemble to order with that or you just keep your stuff warm in that sense. You could have a toaster machine for your burrito. So after you fill everything into your burrito, you can toast it up or tacos as well. You just heat up your tacos and make sure you can assemble it together. Or you could have a flat grill or griddle where you grill up your meats and stuff before you put it on hot hold. But literally so many different things that you could do. You could be doing a solid Mexican barbecue as well. You love those smoked meats. You love those skewer El Pastel things that is going on. Literally talking about it just makes me salivate because there's so many different ideas that you could be adapting, different styles as well. It gets me all excited. So hopefully it gets you excited for the different possibilities you could adapt as well. And one of the things I do encourage you to do is to look on YouTube, look on Mexican street food, see what popular ideas, see what food documentaries are out there, what kind of style people will eat, regional styles as well, Mexican food and different burritos, different tacos, because in Mexico, there's so many different variations on the same thing. You can literally be adapting one particular type of thing and hopefully bring it to wherever you're living and hopefully offer that kind of version, a classic version or your own twist to it. So don't limit yourself to a general Mexican theme. You can literally make it really regional. You can make your maybe concept super spicy or super flavorful, maybe a combination, but hopefully you can keep the solid essence of Mexican food. So quite a lot of healthy foods, grilled foods, like stewards, like pulled pork and like literally vegetables that are like cooked and flavored like amazingness. <laughs> and do consider the different types of ingredients as well. Because with Mexican food, you want to focus on fresh, healthy things that you could hopefully make it really easy, but you could show for as well. So you could make your own guac, your own salsa, have cheese, have sour cream, have your chili sauce as well that you all make from scratch and you have your fresh salad, so tomatoes, salad, beans, rice, everything. If you can make everything from scratch, if people can know that your USP is creating fresh, healthy Mexican food, then that is already a massive plus compared to maybe someone else who's just buying everything, who are just buying everything already pre-made and just putting it together. You can have that extra value and that's about creating that extra value that no one else is actually doing in terms of Mexican food, but you are doing. 
so do consider that. That has an angle. And one of the other ideas is, like I spoke about regional different types of meats and stuff and variations, do adapt to it, do see what you can improve on the flavours, maybe bring a unique twist to it, because people love to try something different, particularly with Mexican food, because Mexican food is essentially street food anyways, and where all the amazing street food has originally came from and have adapted into different cuisines. So do consider tacos, burritos, and variations on it and just make those flavors work because ultimately you can't go wrong with meats, beans and rice and different flavors of fresh salads all in one convenient roll. So do work with that and see what you can create. And obviously if you can adapt the sort of a semel to order so you're literally having everything, your meats and stuff on hot hold, you have all your salads in front of your table and customers could order here and you're making it as you go along and customers could be in and out in one or two minutes, that's volume sales you're getting, you're creating that hopefully fast service but hopefully custom made as well. So you're adding that value here, you're adding that value there. So do you consider that because you're not pre-making everything, you're not pre-making these burritos, you're not pre-making these tacos or nachos, you're making it as you go along and hopefully you're doing it at a quick pace and that would be key because no one likes to wait too long and with the type of food that you're doing, everything can be already prepped and you are literally serving as you go. And do consider pricing as well, make sure it's affordable, make sure you're hopefully given good portions for that price and at a quick pace as well. Ultimately, people don't like to wait too long, but if you're offering a quick pace and good affordability, you're getting in that volume sales, which when you adapt the assemble to order model, you are creating that volume sales with hopefully people buying it quite quickly and people in and out in two minutes. So I do suggest that sort of approach if you do adapt that Mexican street food environment and adapting that style. But obviously you could be maybe charging a higher price for something more premium, something that takes a bit longer to make, but hopefully you're adding that unique vibe and version of it that hopefully people don't often get from maybe like a restaurant or your typical street food store. So do adapt the different styles, you could be offering your own experience of Mexican street food environment that you've seen on different places and you've been to. So do adapt different ideas. You don't have to become a pioneer or a, the first, first person who's done it. See what other people have been doing, adapt, improve on it, and hopefully you create your own business like that. That's it this video guys. Hope you found this video useful and that you can adapt some of these tips and advice to your Mexican street food business. Obviously, it doesn't have to be Mexican food. It can literally be any type of cuisine or a particular type of dish that you can adapt some of these points to whether you're planning on starting a street food business or you have an existing business, do consider all the pros and cons, planning, researching, different ideas, different USBs, different styles of service and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, I've been Business with Dave. Do consider liking this video if you found this video useful. If you have any comments, do put it down and questions as well. Do consider subscribing to the channel, would love to see those numbers go up like always. I've been business with Dave, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.